Hey guys, we're going to, today we're going to make venison manicotti. Um, we're going to use the front leg of uh, the deer that I shot a couple months ago. Um, we're going to start off with front leg. All right, you're going to put probably about four cups of uh, of water into a roasting pan, and uh, as you can tell, the leg ain't really going to fit in there, so we kind of got to shrink it a little bit. Pretty simple. Cut back behind the knee. And uh, you gotta break. You gotta break it. This ain't uh, the greatest, but it works. It's a strong knee. Sometimes you gotta cut the front, swing it at the joint. You'll be able to see it better. I've got the oven preheated at 350 degrees. And I'm just going to throw, oh. alright, well I'm just going to bend it, make it easier to throw in the, in the, in the pot, make it a little bit smaller. Um, looks like the shoulder blade is uh, going to give me problems. So I'm going to try to hold it the best I can. Looks like it's going to give me problems. So. Gotta have a good sharp knife in order to do this because uh, shoulder blade is pretty much, I don't want to say cartilage, but it is a soft bone. And a good sharp knife will just plow right. That's not going to work either. Alright, well, we're just going to throw it in there. Like I said, we got to salt and pepper it as well. Oh, wait a second, here we go. There we go. I folded it completely. Wash our hands. And I'm going to do some fresh salt, uh, sea salt, and pepper. And I think I'm going to throw on a little bit of garlic. Preheated the oven at 350 degrees. Okay, and I'm going to let this uh, roast for probably about three or four hours. Front leg, a lot of people like to just grind it into hamburg. I know some guys freaking when they shoot a deer they just blow out the shoulders and pretty much destroy all the meat. I try to be very careful when I shoot my animal to only catch it in the ribs and to try to avoid the shoulders or the front legs because there's a lot of good meat in this that uh, in the past I've used for shredded barbecue um, kind of like pulled pork, like pulled venison. Um, here's my oven um, and it's got a lot of good meat in it. So, and if you cook it at a low temperature for a long time, you will get uh, some really, really good soft meat. And um, you get some good soft meat, and you're not wasting your animal that you just you took its own life. So, oh, put a little bit of garlic on here. You want to come and take a look at this? Come on over here and take a look at this. Your mouths are watering. Now what I like to do is I like to just keep the, uh, I'm going to keep the meat off of the thing, so I'm going to use some, uh, whoa, wrong place. I'm gonna use some uh, some shot. I know I got shot glasses around here. I'm gonna put some shot glasses. All right. Well, 
I guess I don't have any. Here we go. I'm gonna raise it up off of the off the water just because I don't want it to be sitting too much in the water. So I'll throw a few shot glasses on the bottom. Pretty much just let it stand up. Alright, there it is. Like I said, I put it out of the water and that should be it. I'm going to leave that in the oven for, I don't know, three, maybe four hours and then we'll come back.